Well, we're coming to the end of day one on the Void Hydro Discover Hydropower Tour. And we've spent the day here in Portugal uh, touring around the Frades 2 uh, pumped storage hydro plant. This morning we spent the time flying over the reservoirs, the upper and lower, in a helicopter. And this afternoon we were two hours inside the actual plant. Now I'm up here on the dam on the upper reservoir. And basically water from here flows down through two tunnels that have been bored through the, the mountain behind me three kilometers down to the power plant and from there once it goes through the turbines generates electricity the water flows on to the lower reservoir another one and a half kilometers on now inside the power plant there are two turbines each generating 390 megawatts of electricity what makes this place unique as well is that they can vary the amount of electricity that they generate at any given time so they, they have the technology in the turbines and the generators from void to vary the amount that they actually generate and also when they're pumping water back uphill and when they pump the water back uphill they're using excess energy from local wind farms but when they're pumping the water back up they can also vary the amount of electricity that they're they're bringing back up the mountain and by doing so they're varying the load on the grid so they're able to add um, they're able to bring stability to the grid in response to signals coming from the Portuguese TSO. So it's all about balancing the grid and adding to the grid stability. And that's unique. So let's go take a look at some of the videos I shot earlier this afternoon to see some of the stuff in action. Well, if you ever wanted to know what a pumped hydro storage looks like inside, this is something like what it looks like inside. We're 400 meters here underground uh, in the Frades 2 power plant. Uh, behind us here are the transformers. Uh, there's two floors underneath us uh, with all of the generator and the actual turbines. Um, the scale of this thing is pretty impressive. And in case you're wondering, those big pipes here behind me, they are the three phase cables that connect all the stuff together inside. They're some of the, now there's a lot of insulation around them, but they're pretty big cables. Now these are some serious inverters here behind me, so if they want to turn around from generating electricity to pumping water back up the hill, these are the inverters. They're pretty serious. Now, that's some valve. Wow. So unit 2 is actually off right now, so is unit 1. Uh, if we were in here when this was operating, then the noise levels would be pretty impressive. That's why it's quiet in here today. Now, when you're visiting a power plant, one of the rules are don't touch anything. Correct. Not Somebody did some serious cabling in here. Check this out. Wow. So when you're generating a lot of electricity, you need a big fuse. This is a big fuse. If they need to do an emergency shutdown, this is what they use. So here's a unique piece of technology. On the turbine here underneath us, they have 19 different servo motors that control each of the blades within the turbine. They can open and close the blades so that more or less water flows through, thus regulating the amount of energy that they're generating. That's how they do some of the um, variable loads and, and variable generation for however the how much the grid needs. So most of the technology we've seen so far is pretty typical of your average pumped storage um, hydro plant. Now, what makes Void different is some of their technology. Inside here is their voltage source inverter technology. That's what makes this different in terms of their ability to respond dynamically to what the grid needs. So for all the plant we've seen so far, this is the distributed control system. It's part of the Voight uh, Hycon um, software suite. So what you're seeing here behind me is some of the screens flashing by. This is how they monitor the entire plant. Uh, all of the waterways, uh, all of the various uh, turbines, the pumps, everything. And if anything, if there's any alarms triggered by any of the sensors, this is where they pop up and obviously are sent off to the control office as well. So the entire system is automated, uh, the, the entire system is monitored. You know, this is industrial IoT in action. So we're up here in the atrium 
So when they start taking away all those temporary floors to be able to lift out all of the heavy equipment, this is what you end up with. One big hole all the way down, four stories. So they can lift out with some of these huge cranes behind me. This one takes 280 tons. And there's another one up here and they can combine two of them working in tandem to lift out some of the heaviest equipment that they'd have down here, four stories. Typically, it's under the um, in part of the stators, part of the generator, and but if they need to lift out any part of the equipment down here, should they ever need to, the whole place is designed so that they can take things out. There's a lot of thought goes into building one of these places. Right, that's it. We're leaving Fridays too. We often see so many presentations and videos and white papers on this stuff. You can't beat seeing it in real life. 